Well, good morning, guys. How the heck y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good one. It's freaking... It's not 90k wind here anymore, but I think it what did get up to there for a little bit. But it's still freaking windy, and it's kind of snowing, and it's blowing. Uh, we're probably dealing with 50 to 60 anyways. Just checking on things around the barn here, and it couldn't have been too, too bad, because uh, the cows from pasture, they never, if they came up, they went back out to the pasture. It's not cold, per se. That wind makes it feel cold, but it's not actually really cold. You know, so, we are... Uh, right at the barn everything is still here <coughs> excuse me but you can kind of see it freaking blowing like a sun bit nothing blew away and nothing blew down so that's a positive wind breaks are all still standing that's a positive so we'll go play in the shop so I'll bring you guys back when we get over there and get going. Alrighty guys, well, I had to start the tractor to get that panel out of the shop that I showed you guys all last night. Uh, what the hell is it? Today is the, hey, you know what? Today's January the 20th. How about that? So January the 20th. Today is our anniversary day. We've been on YouTube for one year. I actually, the very first video I posted was on uh, January the 17th, but it was like a, maybe a 20 second or 30 second long vid, and then on January the 20th, I believe, was my first day on YouTube, and so, but I came out here and I could see all the cows, right out there with those wind breaks, and there they are. They're all laying down in the shelter of the windbreaks, They're doing exactly what the windbreaks are supposed to do. So nobody's at the feed bunks. I saw that. And I'm actually sitting right now. I am sitting beside our uh, cut feed pile. And so instead of driving all the way out there and disrupting them girls from laying on their comfy bed, I figured I'll just come and look at them from here and they all look okay so we'll uh, check in on them a little bit later the wind is dying down c continuously it's not snowing no more but you can sure see her like it's still blowing like a sump gun right ripping that snow and everything all over the freaking place So now we'll go to the shop and uh, play over there, I guess. Get started on uh, some stuff over there anyway, so we'll bring you back when we get to the shop. Alrighty guys, so this is how we make them. I think I've showed you this before, but this is how I do it. So we got our four foot here. So when I've got four foots on both ends, I'll start with a four foot. I usually end at this end, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll get my forefoot on straight to my top rail, and I mark them all out where I want my piping, and then I'll attach two smaller pipes, which would be my six foots. Back you up just a little bit, like that. So then I'll attach these two smaller ones, which are my six foots, which goes to the saddle cut piece, and that way, if that is straight, everything throughout the whole line will be straight, providing your top rail is straight. And so, and that's how we do them. Now, I got that all tacked in, so it ain't moving. Now, I just got to go and set the other two, two pipes in there. The six foot's there. The 11 footers through the middle. 
and then two six foots there just set those all in place and we're uh, yahoo good to go welder up flip her over welder up put the bases on and she's ready to rock and roll so we'll come back in a little bit alrighty well that panels all done and the gate is basically done we just got one small problem the three-quarter inch rod that I use for my hinges on these gates I have to torch a hole going through here just like the last one but I ran out of three-quarter inch uh, uh, threaded rod so I guess it's a trip to town well to McLean anyway and look at what CP's been doing like you guys have caught glimpses of my filthy friggin bench in the past uh, look at that she got it all cleaned up like she she's got that you're a messy bastard look on her face <laughs> I can't clean your house you know why did you notice what my shop looks like? Yeah. So cleaning the house probably wouldn't be a good idea for you to have me do, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway guys, it's lunchtime or like one o'clock. So uh, I'm quitting, I'm going to have lunch. You coming with me CP? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's go have some lunch. Oh, what's that? I gotta get that on the wall, turn it over. There, see, there yeah. Is this side. Turn it over. This is junk. Committed to environmental stewardship. EFP. Sustainable futures. <laughs> yeah, I actually got that, guys. I passed the stupid course. How's that sound? <sighs> I ain't going to be writing on it. Okay, we'll catch you guys later. Well, guys, how y'all doing now? So, like I said earlier, the panel was done and the gate was almost done. Basically, all I got to do is weld this side of this gate. Eh, that one bar is just a little bit out, right? But not bad. Anyway, I can live with that. How many of you guys watched that friggin' uh, Sleepy Joe, uh, Sleepy Joe Biden inauguration? How many of you out there? Biden fans here's one for you so Mr. Garth Brooks he was singing at the inauguration party this morning I guess and for some reason he I guess he didn't feel that it was suitable for him to sing friends in no pla low places I thought it would have been the perfect song friends in low places for Mr. Garth Brooks to sing at that Biden inauguration right I got a feeling lots would agree. But anyways, we're gonna weld this side up. We got our threaded rod. There's part of it. It's uh, it's already cut. The two pieces I need, one there, one in the vise. I gotta weld this spigot on here and another one on that piece. So uh, let's get at her, pitter patter. Alrighty guys, well, that one's done. CP just hooked the chain around it for me so I could drag it the hell out of here. Whee! Just like so. I guess she ain't gonna come and unhook the chain for me. Oh wait, yes she is. Here she comes, she's a running. Oh, she was kind of sort of running. I hope she didn't put it on too tight. There it is. So, we will grapple this sucker and uh, put him away. Oh, you dirty rotten. There it is. Sometimes we got damn, it's an electric over hydraulic. 
on the grapple and sometimes the god darn uh, uh, connector there gets a little it's a little loose in there and it doesn't make connection so it won't override on the tilt hydraulic for the front end loader something like so like so so okay I'll bring you guys back in a little bit we got this sucker up in the air here now so we just got to drag him or carry him over to where all the other ones are and then it's off to the barn for some chore time so we'll talk to you guys in a little bit when we're at the barn there alrighty guys well Sorry I didn't bring you back when we were at the barn, but that stuff is done. I just came out here and I dug out them three straw bales for tomorrow for the bale processor because uh, it's just easier to grab them from there versus trying to get over top that snow bank and get into those bales over there. And with the wind blowing the way it is still, I just figure there's no point in me pushing a shitload of snow just to have it fill right back in again. Like, there's no point, right? Look at the snow bank halfway up the bales over here. So, but anyways, that concludes our day, I guess. Um, those panels are all done, so that's a bonus, cha-ching, right? And we've got, I want to get on to more panel building for, just for ourselves even. But before we do that, my parts finally showed up for Little Red, this tractor that we're in. And when we get to the shop, I'll kind of show you what we're doing. And I hope it's not going to be too big of an issue, but I got a feeling there's going to be some fabrication that's going to be required. But anyway, I'll show you what that's all about when we get there. Okay, so here we are. I just sprayed this one down. I gotta turn this bolt out. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and I'll feed tomorrow with this thing. And then this front end loader is uh, coming off. Because this pin right up here, it needs to be replaced and the bushings in it need to be replaced. Actually, this one it's not bad, but I believe the bushings are blown out of it. Wait until I show you the other side. It's been fucked up for a while, and we were waiting for parts for a little while. I should have ordered the parts a lot sooner, and then I kept forgetting about it, and well, that's what you get when you're not fucking looking after your shit, right? So this hole, I'm gonna have to get a bushing that goes in here and weld something in here that'll fit that pin to take up this war space and yeah the bushings got to be replaced in here they're fucked and so we'll spray this guy down really good and this pin you loosen this off once you got your loader down the wall basically the way it is you loosen this off here and then flip it up and you can pull then it allows you to pull this pin out it's been a while since I've done this it's kind of a pain in the royal you know what uh, so hopefully we don't have to replace all of this stuff in here too but we'll find out as time goes on because there seems to be a little bit of sloppy bullshit going on in here, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but that'll be a job for tomorrow. Disconnecting all of these, the electrical, so on and so forth. It's been quite a while since the loader, the full, the bucket's been off, but it's been quite a while since the full loader has been off. Uh, so, yeah.
And right now I'm using WD because my fluid film is too cold and it won't spray out of the god darn can. Right, babe? I have That's no idea. My saw. Is that for your saw? It I is. have no idea. Well, that's where it's going. That's where it's going? You're just making a mess? This is for your fridge? You had a nap. I'm going for supper. What are you doing? Oh, I know what you're going to do. You're gonna cook me supper. No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she loves me too much, guys. She loves me too much. That's for, uh, I believe that's for a chimney. No, it's not. That's for a chimney. It's a seal on it for a chimney. Well, do something with it. Well, put it wherever you're putting that stuff. Because right now I don't got a chimney for that to go on. Can you put this with my saw? Where's your saw? I don't know. Look back yonder. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I'm going to let you all go. And uh, tomorrow's another day. Another dollar. Well, dollar spent anyways. And so... But that's what happens when uh, you don't pay attention to your shit, right? All of a sudden, things get all fucking slopped out and wore out and fucked up. And then it costs you more money to fix it than what it originally should be. My own fault, guys. My own fault. I know this all, all this end is good because we were greasing it quite regular. But I was slacking off up at the top end over there. So, anyway. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you all tomorrow. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done.